I removed all of the solar panels off of this roof. Now we have a new roof and we're going to reinstall the system, but this time we're going to be doing the system right. So these roof attachments were leaking, right? So I found out who made them. The company is called K2. I reached out to them and I asked them, you know, what's your feedback? This is what I saw, sent them the video, sent them everything. And they responded with a conference call that they want to get on. They provided me all of that products, the older generation product, the, you know, the one that was installed, all of the installation manuals, all of the information about it, everything. So you might approach someone and say, Hey, your product failed. And they might be like, Oh, it's the installer. It's this, and that, you know, whatever, kind of have a screw off mentality or be defensive, but they were really supportive. They're like, let's figure this out. Here's the manuals. What do you think? Let's get it on a call about it. And so I'll put these manuals up, but I'm looking at the uh, cross rail system and I'm looking at the flashing and how it's supposed to be installed. The lag not hitting the rafter and being a spinner, um, so to speak, industry language jargon, um, doesn't get that compression seal. And then having the flashing too low on the shingle line overhanging that next row of shingle and then the type of sealant or the weather it was installed in looks wrong. So those three obvious things very clearly outlined in their installation manual as things not to do. All right, well enough chatting in the truck. Let's go get up on the roof. I'm gonna grab some tools. I did wanna mention there were three other things uh, I was going to try to specifically address about this system besides the roof leaks. And that was going to be how tight those mid clamps were and how they were rolling the frames of the panels. Also, the wire nuts that I saw in the junction box, which are okay, but my pre preference is to do some crimped connectors. And then also the wire management. I'm going to try to upgrade it the best I can with some um, higher quality uh, cable ties that I've been trying out. I do have to mention that I'm doing a reinstallation and I'm using all of the old hardware. It would be great to just use all new hardware, but in these situations, that's not very cost effective or environmentally friendly. So I'm going to try to reuse everything that I can. Um, in a lot of situations, you just kind of do the best with what you got. When I removed the system, I saw there were a ton of different rafters that were missed with these attachments. Right here, I'm showing you the secret to how to make sure you hit your rafters. And I am looking at the first rafter in my install and I'm going to the top and the bottom and I'm drilling and snapping a line and marking a line on that first rafter. And that will be my reference point for every attachment to you know downstream of that rafter and if you find that one and then mark your other ones and then mark out where the rafters are listen for them drill for them there's no excuses you'll find it every single time it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit more time to kind of map out the roof but right here i'm going to be installing this flashing uh the best i can um to the exact manufacturer specification trying to use some a good sealant for this application the temperature outside the weather outside um, really coating the backside of the flashing making sure that the flashing is you know high enough under the shingle line as the manufacturer specifies it lays flat sealing everything back up and just making it like being as careful and quality as possible for all these attachments um, you can watch and kind of see what I do here
All right, attachments are in how I like them, sealed up good. I'm gonna throw in the rails on this system and do electrical. The weather's killing me. I wanna slap panels today, but it might not be safe. We'll see what happens, but let's keep on going. What a nice morning. Yesterday it was like 40 mile an hour wind gusts, 30 to 45 or something like that all day long. Today's just calm and absolutely beautiful. So I'm back here. The attachments were done yesterday. We sealed up the roof. We did wire management. We went over, you know, connections in the junction box, kind of like how I like to do it. Now we're gonna set some panels on the roof. trying out these new cable ties. Um, it's called Cable Lock by Easy Solar. But essentially, you just thread it in. It's like a polymer coated like steel um, and then it grips in, can't be pulled back out. It has like 100 to 200 pound tensile strength. Um, going to last forever. It's just like tool free, it's easy. So. so, when I set this panel, I set it flush. When I set this panel, I actually raised it up a smidgen so there's a gap then I will set this panel then go back loosen those and pull that one up that way you'll have just a nice perfect gap um, in your panel spacing but also your row spacing um, might serve some purpose for thermal expansion or ventilation but I think aesthetics and just quality of work.
Ooh. That section's done. That's what I like. The only thing I don't like is um, we're a little bit uneven on these two rows. Um, ideally, um, I'd be able to raise up some of these, which I'll mess around with to try to get a little bit more level because this array, I think that level's dipping a little bit. So I'll try to get that fixed the best I can. But from the ground, let's get a look of money. So the thing I say about solar is like good from afar, but far from good. So if you're on the roof and you're squaring these and you can make it look as good as you can from up here where you're like, yeah, that looks good. Then from the ground, it's gonna look amazing. Because what I see is a lot of people have installs that are from the ground, they look all right. You get on the roof, they're horrendous. It's just like, just terrible. And you know, it's not a lot of accountability in the solar industry because it's hard to get up on the roofs and inspect these.